excellent true. question. Uh, and, you know, no disrespect to dermatologists, it's just their training is not to look deeper into the skin, their training is to look at the skin because they're dermatologists. Derma is skin, ology is a study of the skin, right? So, um, everybody's skin has staphylococcal bacteria on it, okay? There's staphylococcal bacteria on everybody. Maybe in larger amounts than other people, but it's there. And the big one is Staphylococcus aureus, right? Which is the one that causes a lot of skin infections and stuff like that. So, yes, if you have really, really bad skin, okay, and there's cracking and bleeding and you're itching like crazy. And I was like that. I remember me when I had my skin issue when I was a kid, I would itch. And it was almost like running your hand through cheese. <laughs> it would just, like, come up and there's blood everywhere, it's very easy to get infections. So I understand where they're coming from saying we have to stop that topical infection. We need to use bleach baths, we need to use um, you know, antibiotic ointments and things like that. And I would tend to agree, not with the bleach baths, but with the antibiotic ointments, if it's really, really bad, okay? But the thing is, staphylococcal bacteria causes infection only when the internal environment in the body is not right. So if the internal working of the body, the bacteria concentration inside the gut or the gut microbiome is off-centered, the immune system is very, very weak. The immune system of everybody is always determined by the gut. It's always the gut bacteria. It's always the intestinal system, which is largely determined by diet, nutrition, stress, other kinds of things. When that is off, the body is more susceptible to infection. So yes, I mean, if it's really, really bad, of course, use something either natural that's antimicrobial, like colloidal silver or tea tree or whatnot, or you can use uh, a medical um, antibiotic cream, that's fine. But for God's sakes, treat the internal environment because that's what caused the whole problem anyway. Um, so when I have patients that come in that have a lot of bleeding, I will work as aggressively as I can to stop their eczema flare cycle so we don't have to go that route. To me, antibiotic creams are a last resort, but I mean, I would never say no to somebody if, it's, if it's, they have a gaping wound on their body um, and it's not healing fast enough, you may have to do that initially just to get, make sure there's no um, deeper infection that develops while you treat the internal issue. Every external bacterial infection on the patient comes usually from a weakness of their immune system from the internal source. So treat internally, not externally in the end.